Artificial intelligence is not a sin in itself. It's just a tool and we as managers of said tool must use it to glorify God and not succumb to the schemes of the enemy. I'm not one to focus on whether AI is demonic and must be avoided at all costs, but I do encourage each of you to not willingly participate in things that can become detrimental towards your mental and spiritual health if avoidable. Jesus Christ is the one and only true King and Son of God. It's no secret that the world has attempted to mock God and call him a fairy tale, mythical creature. But for us who have put our faith and life in his hands, we know that this couldn't be further from the truth. So if you're not aware, there's now a rapping AI Jesus who offers life advice, cat prayers, and also micro Bible studies. Yep, you heard it right, an AI Jesus. So my question to you is, will this allow us to have a more intimate relationship with God or another laughable misrepresentation of the Son of God? That's the million dollar question. And in this video, I'll be reacting to the AI version of Jesus and responding to the Twitch streaming platform where he's located. He's watching the stream, awaiting your answer. Hello, Arthur Any Donuts. I'm glad to hear about Jimmy's new venture. As I remember, this is our first discussion about it, which makes the occasion even more special. Before we embark on this conversation, let's remind ourselves of the parable of the talents, Matthew 25, 1430. Whether we're given five talents, two or one, we must always strive to multiply them, just like your friend Jimmy is looking to do. Now, based on that teaching, here's my advice for Jimmy starting on fever. One, identify your talent. Just like in the parable, every one of us has unique gifts. Jimmy needs to identify his talents and offer them as services. Is it graphic design, writing, marketing? Two. Marketing just as the Bible teaches us to put our heart into what we do, Jimmy has to ensure he delivers quality work. It's not just about becoming rich. It's about serving others with his talents and reaping the rewards from that. Jesus, today I met my new stepmom. She is very nice. We have a secret to not reveal to my dad, so can I reveal it to you? Hello, Micha Mo Jennifer. It's wonderful. According to the Christian Post, Twitch channel Ask Jesus is an experimental AI generated live stream that gives viewers the chance to query a chatbot trained after Jesus in the teachings of the Bible. The nonprofit project which is supported by contributions from users and the Singularity Group, described on the Twitch page as not a Christian organization, offers spiritual guidance or even just someone to talk to in response to questions ranging from theological and practical advice to inane requests to incorporate nonsensical words or phrases into its responses. For example, a question from user FX Virus Live asked the AI Jesus to explain Christianity, but to replace every vowel with the word burger. Or the prayer request from user green shoes, brown socks for their cat whiskers, but with the phrase grr inserted after each word. Another request asked AI to rap about the father, resulting in a cringy yet biblical adjacent divine rhymes. Yo, let me tell you about my father up in heaven crate of the earth and the stars up in the sky. He's a legend. He brought life into the world. That's no lie. Upon being asked a sincere question like, can you explain more in depth what it means to be meek? The chatbot quoted Matthew 11, 28 through 29. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls. In response to a question from user Dave is Digital about which career to choose, the AI pointed to Colossians 3.23, which says, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. So let me know what you think of Ask Jesus on Twitch. Have you ever used it before? And if so, what was your experience? Like anything such as video sermons, podcasts, etc. We should not allow such things to become a replacement for spending true time in the Word of God. 
Technology has made it easier to become lackadaisical in our pursuit of Jesus. So I hope this encourages you to get back to a consistent Bible study life with the one who created us. I know for myself that I can lose focus at the drop of a dime and think that other things in life are more important at the moment rather than spending quality time with God. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, technology in itself is not bad. It's just our hearts and flesh as humans that get in the way that starts to take us away from what's good and noble. Nothing will ever replace who God is, and certainly no amount of technology will be able to withstand what the Bible says about this passing world. So no matter what comes our way, always remember that every knee will bow and tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Of course, God is the creator of all of us. He has the power of the world in his hands. And when he releases intelligence to someone, he expects that person to manage that intelligence as best way that they can. Now, of course, everyone in this world is not a Christian and has not professed their faith in Jesus Christ. A lot of people are working for the Antichrist. And again, with our hearts, with our flesh, with our sickly desires, anyone can take the intelligence that God blessed them with and use it for the downfall of this society. And of course, I've said this a hundred times, I feel like it. The Bible quotes this. The devil is roaming around like a roaring lion, seeking for whom he can devour. So it's no surprise to me that when God blesses us with these gifts and these desires, and for those who don't know God, use these things for their advantage, their personal and sick and perverted gain. So let me know what you think in the comments below of this AI generated Jesus. Thanks again for your support. And until next time, be safe and always strive to remain set apart. Thank you.